Would you buy this amazing shipping container house for the listing price of 595,000 US dollars? Give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. This amazing house is built using six shipping containers. The containers are stacked in two rows, one on one, separated by an open space in between, which will be filled using conventional building materials to create an amazing shipping container house with three bedrooms, four bathrooms, creating 2,200 square feet of habitable space view you have this amazing modern elevation with big glass windows a covered entrance porch and and white painted siding to cover the shipping container features on the front elevation this is a view of the same frontage showing access and a bit of a side entrance with a general view of the neighborhood. This is a closer view of the frontage with the neighboring houses. There's a brick house on one end and another container house on the side. This is a view of the house from the side showing a side entrance to the garage at the rear of the building with exposed corrugated container walls on the side elevation and the general view of the neighborhood on the left. This is the main entrance to the house, a nice glazed frontal door with a black frame. This is an entrance lobby, which is sparsely furnished and is well lit from the glazed openings. This is the ground floor plan showing the main entrance into a foyer. We have an office on your right and a closet on the left. There's a half bathroom next to the closet and there's also another bathroom and closet and this office can also function as a guest bedroom. In front is an open plan living space with a lounge, a kitchen and a breakfast nook. There is also a big dining room access from the rear and a laundry space in between. This is a view of the living space from the foyer showing the extreme end of the living space. This is a closer view of an intimate lounge area showing the leather sofa seats there is a coffee table and beautiful pieces of art hanging on the walls. The entire space is painted in white to create that feel of a big indoor living space. A similar space showing the entertainment unit and the flat screen TV on the extreme end. There is something that's noticeable is the exposed air conditioning ductwork painted in a bright color of blue to make it stand out hence celebrating the industrial aesthetics of this shipping container house. Another view of the lounge area with the kitchen in the background. This is a closer view of the kitchen is a galley like setup with under the counter storage cabinets stainless steel appliances, overhead storage cabinets all painted in white, complemented by the big glazed openings, drenching the interior space with maximum natural lighting. This is also a view of the kitchen showing the dining space on the extreme end. You will notice the space retains the original container, plywood floors, and they're all 
polished with epoxy paint to make it stand out, giving modern vibes through and through. A view of the kitchen space still showing the front counter which is ideal for a breakfast bar or a workstation when needed. This is a view of the formal dining space accessed directly at the rear from the kitchen space. There's a bit of art wall hangings sparsely placed on the walls. Another view of the dining space, you will notice the full glazing drenching the space with the maximum daylighting, the exposed air conditioning ductwork painted in a bright shade of blue. Another view of the same formal dining space accessed directly from the kitchen space. This is a breakfast area next to the kitchen. Around these corner windows drenching the space with maximum daylighting. The space also viewed from another angle showing the kitchen in the middle and the lounge area on the extreme end. This is the laundry space in the house. There's an office space on the ground floor level. The view of the same office space from another angle. This is a view of the bathroom which is a modern space with beautiful wall tiles. There is a bathroom mirror and enough storage. This is a view of the closet space showing the shoe storage. There's a bit of a mirror hanging on the wall and additional storage spaces. A closet space showing the cloth lines and hanging spaces for the bags and additional spaces for other storage materials. The view of the bathroom a window there for ventilation and natural lighting. This is a floor plan for the first floor level. It's showing an open space below above the kitchen area. We have a primary bedroom on the extreme end. There is a sunroom and there's an office space. We also have another bedroom area with a primary closet we have a bedroom space also accessed directly from the hallway on the extreme end at the rear of the building. A view of an office space on the first floor level. The view of the space for an office from another angle. I like the wall hanging some nice pieces of art. Also notice the shiny epoxy floor finish. A view of the office space from a different angle. This is a bathroom space, nicely finished. The shower cubicle, the bathroom mirror, the toilet and the wash and basin. This is a view of the primary bedroom. You will notice the blue painted air conditioning ductwork is a theme that has been carried through and through. You will also appreciate this big glazing providing maximum daylighting in almost every space. The view of the same primary bedroom with the bathroom in the background. This is a view of the same master bedroom with auxiliary facilities. There's a flat screen TV mounted on the wall and a bit of closet and the bathroom areas. The view of the same space showing the air conditioning ductwork painted in blue, the main bathroom glass shower cubicle shown there, the bathroom space and the closet space on the extreme end. This is a double volume area showing the staircase lobby connecting the two levels of the house and there's maximum daylighting provided by the adequate number of glass windows throughout. This is a view of the sunroom. A nice outdoor space connecting to the office and the other neighboring spaces. 
the ceiling in this particular space is painted black and is given additional artificial lighting to enhance its usage. Another view of the sunroom access directly from the staircase lobby at the first floor level. There is also access to this other office space. The industrial theme in this bar is quite not noticeable and it gives some industrial vibe to this bar space. Industrial themes are also enhanced in this particular space. You'll notice the exposed corrugated container walls, the original plywood floors. This is the rear view of the building showing the two car garage. This is the view of an outdoor living space. There's a fire pit and other outdoor facilities is a bit of a raised vegetable garden showing outdoor living space. So what do you like about this amazing shipping container house? Would you buy it for the listing price? If yes, let us know why and if no, what are your reasons for that? If you love shipping container homes, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we showcase the best of shipping container architecture from around the world. If you like this video also give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.